Thank you very much for having me today. And I'll really like to build on my, uh, some conversation with Khatija where we thought that we need to create an interface between the fellows who are coming from education background and teaching background to the public policy side. So some of the sites might show or appear a little boring, but they are really meant to leave some questions behind for all, all people. And I think that especially Numan Usman ka jo, uh, application thi, aur jo Noor ka ye hai, is ke leadership pe baat karne ki to nahi Because they have come up with very indigenous, <laughs> locally responsive solutions. So the issue is that how far we are responsive to the context and the local challenge in which we are trying to deliver education. So I think that contextual game is very, very important. I'm so encouraged that all fellows have done a good job. I have two names that I remember. I remember two of them. I think that all of them have done a breakthrough in leadership from the grassroots and from the classroom jo leadership. Hai, that is entirely different thing. But uh, the other leadership where we need to link the fellows ko, uh, link karna with public policy in education, that I was tasked, I would say. I would have organized my conversation differently, perhaps, but I was asked to do that, uh, particular focus on that. So if you look at the leadership, we can think of a couple of approaches. I can tell you a story from a very big leader. It's a little bit of time, but I will encourage you to encourage you. If you just close your eyes and think of seven great education leaders in Pakistan. I at times try to do that and I stop at four. You might have more leaders in your mind. I don't know. So just do that exercise that how many leaders we have in the education sector or how, how many people we really try to follow, copy or learn when it comes to public policy in Pakistan. We generally resort to naming shaming. Ke yaar, ye kaam achha nahi hua, ye achha hoge. Ka kaam to kabhi bhi perfect nahi honge. Aur meri encouragement with uh, Teach for Pakistan ke saath hai ki jo ye rasta hai, ye safar hai, ye bada important hai ki how we really keep moving. We perhaps would never come up with perfect system solutions what we want to achieve. Lekin do we have enough moral kick to keep going? Ke ho kya raha hai, kaise ho raha hai? So I don't want to get into the stories of various leaders, but I'll, I'll really encourage you to think, yeah, Pakistan ke leaders kitne hai? Aksa loa ke jana Fatma aur Iqbal pe ruk jate hai. Can we go on? Or we are still in a, in a different type of thing. So Noor ne ek badi baat ki thi abhi apne ki jab mein ye bana rahi thi, to mera challenge ye tha ki humare gaon mein jab bijli jati to kya karte hai? So who are the leaders? Leaders are only those people who can identify their respective challenge, come up with a solution and have the will to navigate the political economy or for, uh, in want of a better word, your constraints in the system. If you are in a school, in an FDE school, so there are different types of constraints. So are you leader enough to, to really navigate these kind of constraints? And when you think in terms of public policy, can you navigate the political economy? In public schools, you are trying to shoulder the burden of government. Why? Because some teachers are not willing to work well. Right? Because some teachers are not willing to show up. Some teachers are not willing to teach you about the social psychological issues of uh, students. So there is a certain kind of dice functionality there, which we are trying to bridge. So if you are thinking as a public policy practitioners, how we can really take care of these system constraints, or may I encourage you to tell us that if you look at this side, so what Pakistan really needs, Pakistan needs Competent, competitive individuals, Pakistan need more patriot people, Pakistan need more honest people. So if we are really inculcating these values through fellowships, whatever interface we create with the public sector, that is important, these are uh, two core values. So I think the leadership is a Herculean task. So if you go back and uh, look into the mythology, nine labors, that you share mark, then you do that, Nine head hydra hai, usko, uh, katal karenge, wagaira, wagaira. So that remains a serious challenge. To, wo to sahi. I think, but as a leader in education sector, the major challenge is right to free education. Are we willing to open up this conversation? I'll be doing in a while. Public private divide is huge. All you have uh, experienced that in the public sector schools in Pakistan. Largely, fellows come from the private sector, go take on a moral burden, go to a public school. 
So what is the public-private divide in Pakistan and how we go about it really? And then the, of course, curriculum and values. What kind of values we are, we are really uh, thinking through? How far we are really offering stories of Charlie and chocolate to some local stories? So how we really contextualize the storytelling in Pakistan? What, what students can really relate to and majority of them? So it does not mean that we should not narrate stories of global experiences, yes, but also what is the content of the local uh, reality of a given neighborhood in which school is situated or in a district where school is based. And then of course financing remains a serious challenge always and efficiencies. So we are trying to compensate as fellows the inefficiencies of the public sector, how to really fix them once for all. So age group 5 to 16, these are the two slides that uh, we, um, I, I think Freya and Kim might uh, be uh, finding some reputation here. But I thought this is very useful to share with you. So as a, as a, as a fellow from teaching experience, graduating to a policy practitioner, so these numbers are very important, right? So numbers are always important in public policy game. So uh, these are the numbers of 5 to 16, and particularly the students with whom we are very much concerned. So we are doing this for the children. public, mein around 61%, and then private, 39%, almost 40%. So that Khatija was referring to that divide in her talk. There are at least seven references here that they are at least three to four years behind their standard learning objectives, meaning thereby the learning crisis is huge. So the learning deficits, we try to compensate, we build something, but our concern should be that how we can take it to scale. It's good that you are going to Sindh and Karachi and all, but the scale is still very huge and we are trying to create some good examples. Within this, I understand that the leaders are those who can frame the right question first. So like, let's look at this question, Article 25, a free and compulsory education. So the next question is, free only for public or something for those who go to the private sector? That remains a challenge, that's a question. Meaning thereby, if you are a leader, so the question is that whether education is free is an erroneous question, education is not free. We all know that education is very expensive. It calls for a lot of investments in teacher education, teacher training, curriculum, buildings, what have you. Therefore, this, framing this question as a leader is a wrong question, education is for free. The right question would be, and I'll encourage the fellows to really uh, dive deeper into these kind of public policy questions, education is not free. Education is expensive. Therefore, the next question is that who should pay and how much? Meaning thereby that if we believe that education is not for free. We have to think about who should be free for children at the delivery level. But who should pay and how much means that what are the contributions to be made by the federal government, by the provincial government, by the district government, and by the parents so that every kid gets education free. Once we wrap it up like education is for free and state must provide all the resources, but state is not a single category of analysis. You know, you have federal, provincial, district governments, and they have their own resources. There are NFCs, PFCs, district formulas. Public sector, mein, there is like uh, non-school salary budgets and all that. So financing is complex game. Therefore, as young fellows coming from schools, you need to problematize that what kind of funds are coming to school and who is giving that money. Kids are getting for free. So my, my first assertion was that fine, leaders are those who frame the right question first and see that yaar ye ho hi nahi sakta ye aap hum nahi kehte roz baith yaar tu kyun ho hi gal kar rahe hain aapko baat nahi samajh aa rahi main kya keh raha hu to jo baat hai pehle ki question kya hai usko to thoda hum gaur kar le then i think uh, spending uh, uh, currently i am very passionate about public private divide being very honest and therefore we try to map the funding that the resources we have in the system so we, Pakistan is spending around more than 1 trillion rupees in the education sector by the public sector. So Sarkar jo paise kharish hai taaleem pe, wo 1 trillion rupees se bhi zyada hai, which is quite a bit of money. Aur ye saari taaleem mila ke hai. Achha, dousa jo kharcha hai, jo hum as a parents karte hain, jinke bachche public schoolo mein nahi jate. Koi lams ja raha hai, koi LGS ja raha hai, koi beacon house ja raha hai, wagaira wagaira, koi shayad low cost schools mein bhi ja raha hai. 
So that comes to 599 billion contribution by the parents into the system. So this is a lot of money. Okay, then the next problem is that you guys also want to solve as fellows that the child goes to the public school or goes to the private school. We don't learn it again. Then what do we do? We send them to the shadow education, private tuitions. शाम को हम हमारे बच्चे जाते हैं ना tutors के पास। वो tutors के पास जो बच्चे जा रहे हैं, वो सरकारी school में या private में हैं। जाते तो शाम को tuition पढ़नी है। Grades की जो game है, अगर आपने अच्छे grades लेने हैं, तो आपको private tuition पढ़ेंगे। So that spending in the system comes to 301 billion rupees on shadow education. It's a it's a huge expenditure. So मेरा ख्याल है कि पैसों का खाली मस्ता नहीं है, मस्ता है कि हम والدین کے طور پر بھی خرچ رہے ہیں ایک دفعہ ٹویشن فیس پہ دوسری دفعہ شام کی ٹویشن پہ اور اس کے بعد پھر بھی گریٹس پرولم میں ہیں سو میرا یہ تو فوج کے بجٹ کے قریب آپ پہنچ جاتے ہیں اگر آپ پوری ایڈوکیشن کے بجٹ کو دیکھنا شروع کر دیں سو ایز ای فیلو ہو ایز ڈیلیورنگ سم ایڈوکیشنل سپورٹ ان دا کلاس روم ایز وان تھنگ And if that fellow is really interested in some public policy game around education, so you need to see Khatija uh, Khalege, bahut se fellows hain jo ye chahte hain ki humne do saal padha liya, and after having experience of two year teaching in a public school, how they can hone their skills in public policy around education. So then, our education me chahte hain there for this presentation, which must not be that exciting as Noor and other uh, 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 breakthroughs who uh, have uh, but still I would like to broach this question. Okay, so the question is all good. And this is again my favorite picture. So if this is the public-private divide, one trillion by the public sector and almost one trillion by the private parental contribution to education, so I think that these are public schools and they are brilliant private schools. Hai. So really, uh, shall this toy ever meet? Or we are decided, we have decided at the public policy level, we are going to private school, we are going to public, we are going to do this and So uh, is it on the agenda of all of us as education practitioners, that we want to do what we want to do at the practice level, and what we want to do at the practice level? This is a very big question. کیونکہ جو لوگ بھی اس میں کیریئر دیکھ رہے ہیں اپنا ایک تو مشنری زیل ہے یس مشنری زیل is great and glorious but in addition to مشنری زیل if you are trying to find a career in education sector تو پھر تو یہ questions بڑے important ہو جائیں گے آپ کے لیے I would also like to give one example and that's my last slide تو یہ تو بڑی leadership questions ہیں کہ public private میں کیا کرنا ہے curriculum کیسا ہو values کون سی بچوں کو دینی ہے what kind of common ground we are trying to create And most importantly, what kind of dialogue we are creating between the public schools and private schools? Is there a conflict on the values and the curriculum in these two streams of water? Would they ever meet? And what kind of common commonalities we can identify? So that that to me is a serious challenge. But I think that the challenge is that someone who is a leader. یہ بڑا مشکل چیلنج ہے کسی لیڈر کو انڈو کرنا کہ ایڈوکیشن is not for free. Let's decide. It's a difficult challenge for any leader to reflect on the curriculum and say کہ یار یہ تو نہیں چلے گا. And this is a very very difficult challenge for any leader in education sector who thinks that how I can bridge the gap between public and private. Both in terms of world views. لیکن world views تو بہت important ہیں نا کہ آپ سوچ کیسے رہے ہیں. اگر آپ کے دو different world views create ہوتے چلے جائیں گے وہ difference تو ہوگا. لیکن how you go about that? And this slide is more side of an operational level. Uh, 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 young fellows, I want to talk about young fellows. In Islamabad, you have seen four zones in which there are four districts in which there are four districts. This is Islamabad. Otherwise, the district of Punjab, there are EDOs who look at education. And there is a district that is a very big entity, which has around 12-14 Arab rupees budget. بیس بائیس ہزار کے قریب ورک فورس ہوتی ہے تو they are the serious managers so اگر پرائیوٹ سیکٹر let's assume a private school chain what kind of manager they put if they need to manage 20,000 schools it's a different challenge and what kind of the manager we put in place when we manage 20,000 schools in public sector so that's a management question but who would resolve that management question or either the political leaders are those who are the public intellectuals and trying to take something, creating some demand side of reforms, putting some pressures, 
asking for accountability. This is point A. Point B कि जो पब्लिक सर्वेंट्स हैं उनके नॉर्मली थ्री इयर्स टेन्योर हैं बाय द लॉ होते नहीं है वो आपने देखा कि रोज सेक्रेटरी साहब बदल जाएंगे ना पंजाब हैव हैड लाइक इलेवन सेक्रेटरीज इन टू इयर्स और थ्री इयर्स सो टेन्योर आर नॉट ग्रांटेड आई वांट टू शेयर एग्जांपल ऑफ वन एंड दिस इज अ रियल रियल एग्जाम्पल दिस इज एन इंडिविजुअल आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू नेम ही सर्व वन मंथ इन बहावलपुर एंड देन ट्रांसफर टू सियालकोट then to gujranwala for 5 months then back to norwal for 6 months then 9 months then 4 months 1 month back to himyar khan khushab so imagine that if uh, imagine the let's say, uh, i hope you would allow me to do that so imagine that the executive of teach for pakistan khatija is transferred like seven times in 3 years so you have seven different ceos working with you what kind of stability you would find really khadija ko aap aaj change kare faisal bari sahab ko bitha de fir faisal bari ko nikal le freya ko bitha de freya ko nikal le usko wahan se le fir aap kehne ye noor badi achhi si ko de dete ye ye school acha chala legi to noor chala legi fir to to mera masla nahi ban jayega thoda sa but this is the political economy that i wanted to do. as a fellows who are interested in public policy game then the political economy of even tenure of a simple education managers become a serious leadership challenge so with this i would like to note that then what is the agenda for the leaders so i think agenda is very simple are we able to create really locally relevant evidence we understand the political economy through which, which we need to navigate and last but not the least do we have heart at the right place are we really concerned about certain moral transcendentals where we think yes environment protection is very important for what kind of value systems we are having so you have to have a very strong moral transcendental where you think a leader should have that or otherwise he would not rise to the occasion so if your their value system and the transcendentals are compromised there is a problem thank you very much